Hey guys, what's going on? Out for a nice cruise, first day of autumn. Man, I tell you, the leaves are already changing colors. Things are looking really nice and beautiful. Pretty amazed. It's really nice. Really nice. I don't. I, I don't know if. Uh, I mean, I would think that things are changing where you are, depending on where you're from. Are things changing where you're from? Where you normally would ride? What are the changes? I know some some places don't go through the drastic changes that we go through in New York, where the leaves are falling off and changing a lot of colors. The Northeast has that. I think I remember speaking with some people. They were saying out west that really doesn't happen. You know, you don't really uh, you don't really experience that. Just that's a pretty interesting weird at the same time but you know different different uh, geographical location different weather you know they don't get this they don't get uh snow and stuff that we get so more than likely that's probably the big reason why just enjoying this ride you know I don't know if I can really ask for more in a motorcycle right now I mean I know I mean I definitely could afford it if I wanted to but I don't know don't really see any need you know one thing with riding man I think it's like one of the most relaxing things I mean I do like a little bit of a twisty road at times but I also have my moments man where I just like getting out and I'll just cruise just like this just cruise This road had some really nice, subtle, just subtle sways, subtle lefts and subtle rights. They're not really uh, very harsh, like some other turns that I've been through. But you know what? The scenery on here, and this is Taconic State Parkway North. The scenery on here is just it's really beautiful. Really love coming through here. Roseway Road. Yes, I really love coming through here. I mean, you can get off at any of these exits and ride around and explore to your heart's content, which I'll probably do a little bit later. But, uh, yeah. Still running the uh, Rotella synthetic mix in here, and uh, right now I think I've had it in for about 6,700 miles. At about 3,500 miles, I swapped out the I swapped out the oil filter and put on a new oil filter. That was right before I went to West Virginia. I put on a new oil filter and topped off the oil just a little bit not a lot just a little added a little oil to the oil filter and just continued on now what i'm planning to do i'm planning to send this oil sample in 
right now I'm at, a, what was I at? I, was, I think I was at about 6,700 miles. So I'm figuring what I'll do is I'll run it to about 7,000, maybe somewhere around there, maybe a little more. And what I'll do is um, I'll send it off for testing because I want to see what the condition is of the oil. I want to see how much life this oil has left. And at least then I'll know, you know, wh wh where are my limits? You know, can I go a little further than 7,000? I've done other tests at uh, lower mileage numbers. And they all, they all came back good. I'll do that in another video, I'll get into that. But um, this is the longest by far. Usually I would stretch the oil maybe like 4,000. That's usually the most I would do, it's about 4,000 miles. But I would just drop the oil and then change it. But you know what, every time I drop the oil, I look at it and I'm like, man, it still looks kind of good, you know? And it doesn't burn any oil. You know, it just, I, I drop it out and you still get that 3.9 or 4 quarts or a little less than 4, whatever. But it, it's definitely got enough. It only, it only takes about 3.8 quarts with an oil filter. So, you know. And I, I often check it. After I come back from my trips, it, it's never burned anything. You know. Even after the trip down to uh, uh, Tennessee, it didn't burn anything. So, you know. Well, anyway, so I look forward to the results. And once I get those results back, I think I'll do a video. And I'll talk about all of the results and um, what my thoughts are. This oil is a synthetic blend which uh, is, is pretty good, Rotella Synthetic Blend. It's been, it's been pretty good. I can't complain. No odd feelings with the clutch or shifting or slipping. Um, the Rotella Full Synthetic, oh my God. The Rotella Full Synthetic, I used that. That wasn't bad. I did notice the clutch slip a little bit. But, but this engine is a full mix. In other words, the engine and the clutch and the transmission all share the same oil. So, I've, I've heard that full synthetics usually don't really do too good with uh, clutches and trannies. So, they're good with motors if you just have the just motor alone, but clutches and trannies is not really that great. I've used their Dino oil, which is just a, the natural oil, alleged and from Rotella and that actually was very good um, that was a very good oil but I figured with the blend you have that little bit of synthetic and you have that little bit of um, of, 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 of Dino oil and that should actually be a very good oil I figured you, you know you got the best of both worlds in a way so We'll see how it works out, and I'll be sure to try and give you guys an update on that. We'll see what you let you know what I think and what I've experienced. Anyway, I've chatted on long enough. I will see you guys later. The best one A is gonna sign out, and I thank you guys for joining me on this ride up the Taconic State Parkway. Wish you all Godspeed. Wish you all to stay blessed. And I'll see you later.